ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. And in part by Volvo. Experience the full line of 2007 Volvos. Who would you give a Volvo to? Volvo for life. Chris Davis with you in the studio. Sunbelt Championship up for grabs. North Texas has gotten hot at the right time. They're five seed, and Michael Stearns, their best three-point shooter, knocking one down. Mean Green up on Arkansas State by one. All right, Reese, good one going on there and here. 43 all in the Horizon League Championship game. Let's go inside the plate. Take a look at the floor spacing for Butler, Stephen. And this is what happens when you make a mistake defensively. Go ahead and roll it. You see four guys outside the three-point line. Watch when Woods, Wood and Wilson double-team Graves. Too late on the rotation. The floor spacing allows Crone an open three. Great execution by Butler. Yeah, that's the weave. That's old school. It's almost a picket fence right. like the Hoosiers. <laughs> Close to it. That's the point you die to see that one up. Simple game that's hard to play well. That's what basketball is. Right. An 8 0 run for Butler. Wright State 0 for their last seven. Here comes Graves. They run the same play, but different man setting the screen that time. They've got a mismatch with Wood. Trying to guard Richmond right now. Or Campbell, excuse me. Green. Burleson on him. He takes him into the lane. Quick hands by Burleson. Takes it away. Here comes Wood. One on one with Graves. Two of the best guards. He picked his pocket. Graves going the other way. Graves on the educated guest defensively. He came up golden. Figured he'd go to his right hand. Thrown to his left hand. Blocked by Burleson. Wasn't strong at all with it. Tipped away by Green and it stays here. Boy, quick hands at both ends. Well, Green and Gray showing you that they're quick enough with their foot speed to stay in front of their defender, but they got quick hands on the ball as well. Dude, Deshaun Wood gets a second win. I'm sure Coach Brownell has this in his playbook. I would give the ball to Deshaun Wood at the top of the key and 1-4. Let him go one on one. Or Todd Brown can just flank it off the heel and let it roll in. Shoot Either way. <laughs> Shoot a knuckleball, huh? <laughs> they had gone seven possessions without a bucket. With a two-point lead now. Graves out top. Same offensive set for them. Trying to create a mismatch off of the pick and roll situation. Graves gets the roll after knifing through. And a guy who does so much for this team, even when he's not scoring, he does so many other things. Well, you saw him. He, he draws a double team defensively. He got his teammate an open shot. Will Veasley on the reach, trying to stay with Deshaun Wood. That's Graves. Constant motion with or without the basketball. Receiving picks from his teammates. And look at the hesitation right there. Splitting the defense. And Graves, like Wood, has another gear that you rarely see. And who made the midseason wooden list. Wood. Eyes it from the free throw line. 89% free throw shooter. Graves even better than that. Almost 96% in the nation. When you're struggling to score, the free throw line is your best friend, and you've got to convert. And he said that, he misses the second. But it always happens. It always works. Eh? Sure. <laughs> and you see Wright State is selectively switching the high pick and roll depending on who it is. Green gives it off. Beasley, the freshman. And it's a one-point Butler lead. It's their first lead since the 14-11 mark in the first half when they led 12 to 9. Michael Beasley from tiny Freeport, Illinois, up in the northwestern corner of the state. Little known area, but boy, he showed some strength on that move getting to the hole. If you weren't from Illinois, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> but you are. Shot clock at under 10. 
Time for Wood to go. One on one with Graves. Crossover. How nice is that? He went 13 minutes without scoring. Got a free throw a moment ago, and now the nice kiss off the glass. 24 in the game. Deshaun attempting to put the wound on Butler. Down the stretch. The stop and start. Hop skipping the jump to the hole off glass. They left Graves alone. Short. Striker, another 35. Boy, those picks on the ball that are being set for Graves are very, very tough. Green's man fell down. They switch, and the foul as he takes it to the glass. So he'll go to the free throw line. Wright State with the one point lead. This one going back and forth here in the second half. Wood doing what he did in the first half, breaking down the defense. A.J. Graves, the matchup, no chance to stay with him. The Raiders with the lead. There are some fans here from Indianapolis. They take up a couple of sections in the Nutter Center. The Butler fans, one point lead for Wright State. Check out our game track. Remember, Wright State was 8 of 15 beyond the arc. Now they're 9 of 21. Yeah, starting to pick up the pace a little bit. And look at the turnovers. Pretty low for a game that has this type of intensity. You expect that from Butler, but Wright State doing a pretty good job of taking care of the rock as well. Seven ties, four lead changes so far in this one. Green gets the roll at the free throw line. We're tied. That last foul on Ronaldo Smith. The 16 foul on Wright State. So Butler's in the bonus and Wright State in the double bonus. Many free throws in this game. Now I've been very cleanly played on both ends physical and the officials have done a fantastic job of letting them play physical but yet calling the foul when it needs to be called. The lead back to the Bulldogs. Wood. Burleson scoops it. Stryker now trying to stay with him, having a tough time with his strength. Well, Burleson, you see there, five or six from the field, and just really solid this evening. Nice left, going away from the defense. Butler tries to answer. Through the hands of Ligon, Stryker kicks it out. Graves with Duggins, the freshman on him. Shot clock. Down to five. AJ lets it fly behind the screen. He's got it. A three for AJ Graves. Big shot. He was hunting for that high pick and roll. All he needs is a little bit of space. Scotty Wilson doesn't jump out quickly enough, and Graves makes the pay. Graves has 12 in the game. Two point lead for Butler. Striker now back on Deshaun Wood. The switch. Here's Liggett. And they need to flatten out to give. There they go. One four to let him do his work. Too quick for Ligon. Dishes it off through the hands of Drew Burleson. Well, take a look at A.J. Gray's at last time. Shot clock running down. He's just weaving along the perimeter, looking, probing for the opening, and boom, right there. Doesn't need much. But gets it off the bounce for three. Critical jumper for Butler. Approaching his season average. Struggled early in this one. Wood now guarding A.J. Braves. Here comes Green, though. Going to use the shot clock again. Chrome off the heel. And there's Will Graham. Well, we call it a post Brownells call for a four down. Duggins down low to Burleson. This time, strong underneath. And we're tied at 52. With two guys on the team that look like brothers right there. <laughs> Duggins and Burleson hook up. One of the few times we haven't seen Deshaun Wood involved on the offense. Two teams that split the regular season series. Graves blocked by Wood. What a play defensively. Deshaun Wood. You were with us earlier. You heard us tell you about his tough upbringing in Detroit. 
finally getting to know his dad. His mom passed away his freshman year here, and he knocks down a three. He's got 27, they're up by three. Well, watch Graves, they took Graves off the ball. They're gonna try to run him through some picks to free him up. There it is. They swing it to Crone. Graves. 15 on the shot clock. Goes by Graham. AJ looking for some help and has to call the timeout. <laughs> Terrific defense from Wright State in the last minute. Well, Graves hasn't beat. But Deshaun said, you're listed at six foot, I'm five eleven, but I got I got some hops. And he comes around the screen, leaving Striker behind it. Striker has done a really good job here for most of the second half, but like Graves earlier, he only needs a, a little bit of space. Three-point lead for Wright State. It'll be Butler basketball when we come back, but we send it very quickly to the studio to check in with Reese Davis right now. Reese. All right, Terry, also a great game going on in the Sun Belt between North Texas and Arkansas State. Winner going to the tournament. The Mean Green forcing the turnover. Ben Bell to Calvin Watson with a punch. Three-point lead for North Texas.